Okay, this video is called Undercarved Overtrained. I feel awful, I actually look awful. It's so easily done. You know, when you're diabetic and you're learning this process and how to take care of yourself, it's easy to make little mistakes. I'm just checking my blood sugar. Oh, it's not working. No, it's working. Uh, just checking my blood sugar. Uh, where's the camera there? Yeah, uh, so I woke up today, wanted to do Doisa Tep, which is the local mountain. And I was going along with, you know, my pace. And my goal was to get to the lookout tower halfway up. And I got there and I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep on going. And I knew I should not do that. I knew that I should just focus on that halfway point. That's a good enough exercise for someone my size. It's like, it's like a normal person cycling up there with a big sack of potatoes on their back. You know, you can do it, but it's not fun. Um, anyway, so my blood sugar came, is coming. Oh, that's pretty good, 5.7. I'll, I'll check that in a sec. Again, when it's that low, I always double check. Um, but it probably is right that it's that low. So basically, I'm rambling because I'm a bit tired. But what I've done is... I've exhausted myself up this mountain. I got like within, you know, a kilometer of the top. The only reason I didn't go any longer is not because, oh, you know, you're so close, man. Why didn't you go? And some people good naturedly were suggesting that I go all the way. I'm so close, but I popped, my legs burnt out and I could feel that I wasn't in a good space and I could feel this. So I came down very slowly and now I've, done my training for the day great but now I am hungry but I'm kind of stimulated so I'm not really sure I'm, I'm not really feeling the hunger so I come home I get they've only got like eight mangoes so I eat six yeah my that's more like it 9.3 I know it's quite high um so I've only got six uh, eight mangoes so I eat six for my smoothie six is nothing that's 600 calories I've just gone up a mountain I had no breakfast. I didn't even even have anything before I went. I should have had a smoothie before I went. Um, and then when I got back, you know, your mind naturally calibrates to how much you've got. I should have 30 mangoes on my desk, not six. So that when I get them, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have half of these. You see what I'm saying? So I, I need to make sure that I have enough fruit in the house uh, to, you know, during the daytime to sustain it. And, and I didn't. So now I'm sitting there and I've got no fruit left and my addictive mind kicks in and I'm, f I'm feeling tired from the exercise so I'm too weak to fight it and it's going, go and get another burrito, go and get another burrito so even though my exhausted state, now the addiction's kicked in right, I go to get another burrito and I sit in the burrito place, I have two burritos back to back and I start munching on the nacho chips which are full of fat, they're totally fried and uh, so that wasn't my last burrito the other day you know, anyway I've been in before though I've had lots of this is my last X and it hasn't been. But the point is, is that to stay on the rails, to stay within the program, I've got to pre-plan what I'm doing. I've got to overcarb and under-train, right? For me, it's about consistently showing up with the training. It's not about, you know, blasting up every, every, every few days. It's just consistently, I roll up the mountain. And even if I don't even go to the lookout, would be better. Maybe I'd just stick a clock and go, look, I've got half an hour up. And however far that is, turn back. And that way, I've got enough energy to function the rest of the day. I'm too tired to go and get fruit now. But it's past four o'clock, so that's magic. But uh, it's too late, it's too tired to go. You know, I don't even know if I, there's a little party tonight. I don't even know if, even if I'm going to go to that. I literally am exhausted. And it's like my body's not used to this type of uh, activity. My, my muscles aren't used to this type of work. My lungs aren't used to this, this type of work. And, you know, I've pumped, I've spiked my blood sugar. It's nine now, but it was probably 13 after the burritos and the chips. And that's not a good look for me. That's not a good look. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to sort it out. And I'm going to uh, uh, up the carbs before I exercise, up the carbs. I just everything when I got to the lookout tower, there wasn't any fruit person there. Normally there's a fruit person there, but there was just sausage sausage person there. And I don't eat no sausages. 
So I try to go higher and, and the shops further beyond I can reach. So now I'm at, at, a, at a fruit. Luckily, someone gave me a bit of watermelon. Thanks, Kevin, <laughs> at the watermelon at, at, at the Marina Inn. Um, but still, I've got to be over this, you know. Why didn't I just go to my market um, and just eat loads of fruit before I came back? Because I'm stimulating myself. When you feel overstimulated on the exercise, I'm not aware I'm hungry, right? So I'm just like, I'm pumped from the ride. I'm shaking at the moment, I can feel it. So, good lesson for me today. Good lesson for this week as, as well. There's no chronometer today and there's no food shops because I have been slacking off. I've been showing off a bit to myself. It's, almost, it's like I've become really cocky. I'm like, hey, I smashed diabetes in, in four weeks. Look at me. Come and check this. Like my, like my character, Kitchen Hood. Because there's probably part of me in that character, right? But, you know, I'm showing off as if like I'm, I'm the boss because I, I got rid of, I put my blood sugar down in four weeks and like now there's nothing left to do. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. I have a, I, my body needs healing now. You know, 15 years of binge eating don't get repaired in four weeks, even if my blood sugar comes down. It's while my blood sugar is low, that's actually when healing can begin. Because my body cannot heal in any way when the blood sugar is that high and it's that acidic. It's impossible for the inflation, inflammation to repair, for the cells to cleanse themselves, for you know the uh, mitochondria to become efficient. You know, for my colon to cleanse, for my blood to, to cleanse and take out all the particles, for my, you know, white blood shells to go nice and round and shiny again, rather than squidgy and sticky. You know, this is just the beginning to get the fat out of my body, the intracellular fat, the vascular fat, all the fat that's inside, uh, around the organs. That is, that's not going in four weeks. So, I, so now, now I've got my getting blood sugar down as a diabetic. That's the starting point. That gives me enough energy. To be able to exercise because you cannot exercise with high blood sugar not really because the, the sugar's not getting into the cells for the energy so you're too tired to exercise you can do a little bit of stair walking but you can't really train so and, and then you can't heal so basically having my blood sugar down that's like here here sir please come into the, the exercise here come come into the healing area you're now qualified to begin healing and training it's you know what i mean it's the starting point so Mr. Cocky is going back to bed and instead it's pragmatic and uh, repetitive and consistent Joe that's going to be doing high fruits, high greens, uh, soups in the evening and uh, getting back on what was working that started this process and maintain a consistent and stable exercise program so I don't end up flipping like my body chucking me into places where, where it remembers calories are because that's what binge eating basically is you haven't got enough food where's the quickest sort of source of calories i haven't trained it enough for it to go for fruit yet that might take a couple of years or even i don't know maybe three months who knows to automatically go for the fruit right now when i get this i mean when you're distressed not when you're thinking logical it's when you're distressed this is what they call emotional eating but it's not it's that you feel distressed and your body's hungry and it says right where's the quickest source of calories and it drives you to what it's known cakes biscuits nacho chips right because we haven't trained it to go exactly for the fruits so i need to train my body to go for fruit but while it's doing that i must not put myself in these stressful situations where my faculties come down and i'm running on autopilot because my autopilot is a fat fuck <laughs> My autopilot does not fly a plane or ride a bike. He drives a white van full of pies, right? So I have to make sure that autopilot isn't feeding me. And to do that, I've got to stay below my stress line when it comes to exercise and hunger. So there you go. I'll speak to you soon. Looking forward to the next week, actually.